Foundation coming at you with the Cowboys. Um, I was gonna make a pre <laughs> pre training camp video, but you know training camp already started. Um, all seriousness, you know I had a lot of things going on, um, so had you know pretty much had to take care of a lot of things other than you know talking about Cowboys and all that. Um, but anyway, I'm back. Um, Again, for all the people that watch my videos and all that, mahalo. Thank you very much. You know, mahalo. You, you know, um, I just like to talk football. You know, like, <laughs> you know, I, I'm the guy at the end of the bar where he's like, hey, did you see the game? Yeah, you know, oh, what you think about the draft? You know, and, the, and all that kind of stuff. You know, I, I, I can talk sports all day long. Um, but anyway, let's get into it. Um, I would, you know, what I was going to do all the off season, off, off season, you know, you know, all the off-field things and all that for another video. That's, you know, that's got to take a lot more thought and all that. Uh, but anyway, as far as the rookies go, Taco, our first our first pick, you know, uh, high expectations. But at the same time, too, there's only so much he can do because it's going to be a rotational thing. So as long as he makes ev um, every opportunity, you know, produce on every opportunity that he has, then the more frequent rotation that you you have you know apply to what Marinelli and Leon Leth is teaching and if her, Charles Haley is there please listen <laughs> he that guy knows what he's talking about um uh, Chilo Bam I think he's gonna take over for the duties of um, Byron Jones I think he's gonna be the guy while Byron Jones concentrates on one thing I think Chilo Bay is gonna be the guy like okay you need here I'll do this. You need corner. I'll do this. You need a safety. I'll do that. You know, I'll be that dime guy. What you know, whatever. I think he's gonna be that guy. Um, Lewis, I think he's gonna really push Skandrick, which is a good thing. Um, you know, I think overall, I think Lewis might be might eventually be the better player. Um, but as far as that goes, I think he's gonna really push Skandrick to to the point of. You know, Skandrick plays the way, you know, when Skandrick has that attitude. <laughs> yeah, and uh, having that that there, I think he's going to, I think he's going to only make Skandrick play better. And that's, you know, that's what we want, you know. Um, then uh, Ryan Switzer, a lot of hype, you know, he, you know, the training camp, the rookie, you know, he stole the show, so to speak. Um but special teams, you know, special teams, you know, high, I cannot wait to see him start, you know, in the preseason game. I want to see what he does as far as being a threat, how much he can contribute that. And then, you know, now that, now that, uh, now, now it's more going to be, uh, uh, what is it, Linehan taking more of control of the offense. Now you're going to see a little bit more like, man, what, what, Kobe's in him, you know. <laughs> you know oh, what kind of packages are gonna run or what kind of plays are they gonna design for that and all that so so can I wait to see that uh, and you know Xavier Woods my my personal favorite pick of the of the draft um, for the Cowboys <clears throat> you know I think with the the team drills and all that now you're gonna see him play with his instincts and and his natural abilities and all that which you know, again, he's a smart guy, but you know, I, now he's gonna get able to show it more rather than you know like one-on-one -on -one battles or just walkthroughs and stuff. Like now, he's gonna really get to show a lot more. <clears throat> um, then finally, you know, I'm not gonna go to every pick, but finally, uh, Marquez White. He might be a guy that we we might be you know we're not talking about, but all of a sudden he kind of go, man, he's having a good good day today, you know, or in the precincts he might go, oh my. Who's that? Who, who, who's that Marcus White? Oh, oh, just like Anthony Brown, you know, he's gonna, you know, kind of stuff like that. You know, he, he, you know, I think he's gonna have that kind of, uh, that kind of flashes on on there. Uh, so, and now as far as the second year players, uh, you know, first of all, uh, the undrafted guy, uh, Rico Gathers. I think he's gonna get every opportunity out there. I think he's gonna, he's, they're gonna really throw a lot at him. You know, while they give within his um, veterans' days off, um, while they ease in uh, Hannah and Swain, um, Hannah and Swain in there, you know, Rico is gonna get every opportunity. And then, as far as you know, 
as long as he he how fast he can learn to really diagnose and and adjust the plays pre snap and on the you know and and on you know exec, as the execution is going as if he can make his adjustments that way and so you know his natural his his athleticism is gonna is gonna you know show a lot already but once you do that then then that's gonna earn you more plays on the field um especially in the blocking um anthony brown you know uh and, and you know like he surprised a lot of people you know he was a guy like every you know every time we was talking you know like you know poor guy you know like uh mo gets hurt he's in he's there uh Skandrick was was wasn't at his best he was there you know so with with him and all that with with him getting thrown all that things you know playing slot playing out you know which he never did play in the slot and and really showed a lot you know now he's gonna now now he gets to stay you know most likely i think they're gonna try to keep the best to keep him on the outside you know and then you know now in having the confidence and and learning what what schemes and what what other teams like to throw now he while he gets to go and do that now he can diagnose and maybe even make more of an impact and all that so um charles tapper you, you know charles tapper that he has a i think he, i think he has the best first step of all the defense alignment that we have um but um you know with him being healthier and and i still believe that he was a diamond in the rough like you know as far as that goes but I cannot wait to see how much, you know, how much he's going to, you know, because he had like the, he, he kind of like had that, like, like the pre, you know, like he he was a rookie, he's a rookie, but he had to look at all the books first. Like he got to check it out first kind of thing. <laughs> um, Dak Prescott, you know, everybody talks about the sophomore slump, you know, the only way if he really falls on his face with, with. 20 you know 15 you know 15 20 interceptions you know and all that you know maybe even 10 they'll they'll even call that a, a slump and all that because you know unless that happens or unless where he's throwing the ball and you're kind of going what the hell was he throwing you know so you know unless that happens then that's different but if he just stays with the same thing and all that they're gonna call it a sophomore slump if he doesn't get us to the NFC Championship. The auto hater is gonna say that. Well, see, one and done. Oh, well, all those, all those little things and all that. Whatever. You know, they're gonna, they're gonna put that out there, just because, because you know, golf can take them to six wins. Oh, look, the team is going in the right direction. Woohoo! Uh, Wentz, they can go eight and eight, maybe even a wild card. Woohoo! You know, that's how they're gonna do it. Uh, Lynch, he played all sixteen games. Woo <laughs> you know, so so that's how I think they. You know, that, that's the that's the you know that's how much expectations and how much pressure is on Dak and all that, and not having Tony Romo for the ten you know ten years as a starter in the training camp and all that. Um, now Dak is you know, and Dak should feel confident, and, all, and that's the thing. Like, oh, what the team? What is Dak gonna do when all the when you know now that all the tape is out on him, well, he just you know the defense put this much tapes on out and, and there on there. You know he can improve on some things. He can he can he can be better in other things. He can he can uh, excel in his excel in the things that he did well and all that. So, um, Malik Collins, you know by the end of the year, I believe that he was the best defense alignment that we had. Uh, he you know missed most of training camp, and as the season wore on, he, you know he really started started um, being that force and all that and now with hopefully now now this is my mantra you know recommit focus fight whatever stay healthy <laughs> that should be <laughs> that should be on everybody's shirt uh but as far as that goes i think now that he gets you know again like anthony brown now that he gets to study and and he gets to know what he can do or what he needs to improve on and what and when he figures and then watching other tapes of other teams and and figuring out what is their weaknesses and and exp and hopefully exploiting those weaknesses you know to his advantage then we're going to see a better player you know um Jalen Smith the one that everybody is really 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 excited for 
uh, you know, like I'm really trying to hold, stay in reality here, kind of thing. You know, um, I'm really, hope, you know, I'm really hoping that he can, he can, um, he can contribute in some way. The best news is that the doctors came back and said that hopefully, in, you know, I mean not hopefully, but looks like in six months if there is nothing bad happens, you know, um, he will make his full recovery. And all that, but if he, you know, and the thing is going to be the pads and all that, you know, having 300 guys push on you, uh, people falling at your feet, you know, and stuff like that, you know, legs and all that, you know, see how, see how that affects him and all that. But damn, I'm, you know, you know, I, I had that video where I was, you know, well, I was shocked about it, you know, not the happiest moment, you know, uh, but you know, now learning more and more about him. You know, if he can really show the, the, the contributions and execution of the plays and all that, he will take over. He'll be one of the top leaders of this team because he has that, He, I think he has that attitude to uplift everyone, you know, kind of thing. Um, I think he can take over that emotional attitude of the whole team and all that. You know, he will not let anybody get down. That That's what I'm trying to get at. Um, and finally Zeke you know when everything passes through again I'll mention that in another video you know they're gonna you know I wanted to I want to see this year him be more involved in the passing game because you know they say that he has damn good hands and, and you know and he has good route running and all that so as long as that goes and all that he, as long as he improves and you know or they show they give him that they're showing the confidence in doing that then then we'll then then we'll get to see. Um, as far as the rest of the team goes, you know, you know, Demarcus Lawrence his final year. Hopefully, hopefully, he, you know, he's gonna pay full contract. So please, put, please put great tape out there. <laughs> um, Anthony Hitches, we crap on him a lot, but you know, we cra we crap crap on him a lot, but he's always been there for us. He's, you know, he's given us everything. He's played hurt, everything, you know. Um, not at the whole Damien Wilson situ situation. Again, I'll get to that on time. Um, and Zacha's on the, pretty much the PUP. So hopefully Kyle Weber do, you know, gets his name called up and he does what he does. You know, he, he fills in whenever we need him kind of thing. Um, probably the most important thing for the offense is Lyle Collins being on the right tackle, you know. It's uncertain. A lot of us is confident, you know, because, you know, but at the same time, too, you cannot say that you, you had a little hesitation just because, you know, I mean, yes, Doug Free irritated a lot of people at certain times, but at the same time, too, he was always there. And, you know, he did, he, I mean, for the all pros that we have on our team, to be the weakest link is not, you know, is not by... You know, I think he'll, I think more than half the teams would have like on Doug Free on their team, you know, so, so, you know, but then I am confident that Lyle Collins can hold on to that position. And then whoever comes out of that, uh, that left tackle situation with, you know, now that with um, Tyron Smith and, you know, F Frederick in the middle, do your job. That's the base, the, big, the best thing. Getting the best five out there, does, that person does his job and, Holds his own and not having the the two all pros compensate for him, then it's gonna be it's gonna be solid. Will we will be be known still yet as the best offensive line? Who knows? I don't care. I want to win. You know, I want to see the wins and all that. So that's plain and simple. All right, I'll do my video again, the off season video. Talk about that all the stuffs. You know, some other time. Um, but anyway, mahalo for watching, panela boys, and go Cowboys.